we're in Brace and Suck 21. Yes, we are. But you knew that already, because I'm yeah. used to saying that. Because this is a whole other setup here. And plus, it's above us. Yeah, exactly. What? Didn't even need that. to tell you that. But anyway, right. um, we heard your comments loud and clear. You want to actually see our faces while we're doing these reactions? Don't Who lie. Funk? But what? you would have think it's a reaction channel or something. I don't know about that. <laughs> but anyway, we have got Faulty Towers, Series 2, Episode 3. The title is Waldorf Salad. What? Have okay. you ever had Waldorf Salad? I... It's basically, it was made at New York's Waldorf Astoria Hotel. It basically, it was simple salad. It's chopped apples mixed with mayo on lettuce. And you could jazz it up other ways. But that's the main component of a Waldorf salad. Nice. I do not eat the food of my food. Got it. I'll eat it, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. We know that's not going to be all what this episode's about. It's going to be, no. you know, uh, Basil Fawlty <laughs> with a stick up his ass. It's not going to be Waldorf salad heavy. So, oh, uh, no. Um, yeah. But all right, anyway, man. I'm ready, let's, man. Let's get into it. Oh, it's a lovely part of the world, isn't it? All those beautiful trees and fields and variety of birds. Yes, that's true. And you can just go there and get away from it all, away from the helter-skelter of modern life, because we all do need air solitude, don't we? Yes, we do. I mean, nowadays it's not easy to find the time to... I don't know, enjoy life, because there's always things to do. It's all so hectic, isn't it? All of us just rushing around, letting things get on top of us. And quite honestly, what's the point? Have you finished? Yes. Thank you, uh, my wife. I think yes. those prawns might be a bit off. Oh, I don't think so. Well, they do taste rather funny. Well, no-one else has complained. Well, I really do think they're off. But you've eaten half of them. <laughs> well, I didn't notice at the start. You didn't notice at the start? Oh, well, it was a sauce. I wasn't sure. So you ate half to make sure? Look, why my things are off? Well, what about... Do you want another first course? No, thank you. Well, you're sure? No, really. I'll just have the main... Well, 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 cancelled. Cancelled? Oh, uh, deducted from the bill. Is that what you mean? Well, as it's inedible. Well, only half of it's inedible, apparently. <laughs> well, deduct half now. And if my wife brings the other half up during the night, we'll claim the balance in the morning. How would like our that? Well, three we know have passed on this year, all in their early <laughs> 60s. So I've cut out butter... And I Thank you. No, really, it, it's all right. But it's all bristle. No, 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 honestly. Oh, there's a nice bit, see? Oh, Doris, it's all... No, dear, it's not as bad as that. I've had worse. I don't know how they get away with it. Everything all right? Oh, oh thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Everything to your satisfaction? Oh, uh, yes, thank you. Why don't you say something? Well, there's no point, is there? We just won't come here again. Then I'll say something. Look, it, it won't do any uh... good. I'm leaving tomorrow. Well, I'm going to. I mean, we've been sitting here waiting for nearly half an hour, and it... Well, what's this? See, look, I, I ordered the cold meat salad, and I've been waiting about half an hour for it. Salad? Yes. You want change? No, 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 I don't want to change. OK. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, that would definitely not be me, the, the woman there, who's going to say something. Like, <clears throat> I'm just like, you know what? They did their best. I'm just going to move on to the next thing. Well, with, with the seafood, yeah. Like, I don't mess with that. Bad seafood will ruin your life. Oh, you know? yeah. Everything else I can get away with. Like, what did the, the old couple say? The grizzly steak. And I'm like, yeah, the grizzly nah, steak. Right. You can power through it. I'm not a big fan of sending food back. Ever. No, I've I'm been on that like, side. Yeah, that side yeah. of the door before. And I'm like, just don't send it back. It is what it is. Life gave you a bad hand. Deal with it. And better luck next time. And food is just, it's something that you don't always get right. Yeah. There's a system to getting certain things right, but there's just as much art as there is science to it. Yep. So sometimes you just don't get it right. And yeah. it's not always the fault of the cook and it's certainly not the fault of the waiter no that's the thing but you know what though i'll put it this way um if it's a high value meal high sorry not high price meal i will say something like mm -hmm. not something like rude but i'm like hey this is supposed to be and is it safe for me to eat it 
Yeah. And once they sign the document, I will eat it. There you go. Just yeah. like that. Yep. Man. I, I don't want this. You say you know one change. I want the salad. Excuse me. Yes? Uh, look, we've been waiting here for about half an hour now. I gave the waiter our order. Oh, him, he's hopeless, isn't he? Yeah, well, I, I don't wish to complain, but when he does bring something, he's got it wrong. Well, you think I don't know? I mean, you only have to eat here. We have to live with it. I had to pay his fare all the way from Barcelona, but you can't get the staff, you see. It's a nightmare. Supposed to be complaining to him. What is he doing? Sorry about that. Thank you so much. Enjoy your meal. I wouldn't need it after that. Oh, my God. If they picked it, if the dude picked it up three times and like, yeah, uh, I'm not hungry anymore. I'll just get McDonald's on the way home. Yeah, I just be like, you know what? Fair enough. Maybe I just don't need to eat tonight. You know, like maybe I don't need to eat tonight. And because of that decision, I won't have explosive diarrhea in the morning. Anything, <laughs> anything to prevent me from having explosive diarrhea. I'm a fan of like, that's number one. Oh, man. <laughs> that's, that's how I live life. This is the same person that says uh, it doesn't eat because it'll put you to sleep for a whole day. You're like a damn camel, man. I am. And when I do eat, I don't expect explosive diarrhea. But when I do eat, I'm safely at home. <laughs> and I can afford having explosive <laughs> diarrhea. I'm not, I'm not trying to brag, but I usually explosive <laughs> diarrhea at home. This is what you pay a dollar for a month for people. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. I just don't want. I just don't want our patrons to think I'm. I think I'm better than them. I just when I do explosive you, you, diarrhea. You can, you know, exude the fact that you're not better than them, no. and not mention diarrhea. Ah, well, I think diarrhea is a main part of that story I just told. Diarrhea is point one. Definitely the common person. Person relatable. So let's get that straight. I don't even know what we're talking about right now, but yeah. I just assume people think that I'm on their same level here. Yeah. I, I just don't mention that at all. Well, I mean, I bring it up first, so that way I get a nice little bubble around me that people don't come into. That's like my buffer. Oh, like, here's Daniel. He always brings up fucking diarrhea. Like, Well, oh. I do bring up sex a lot, so I guess we're well, even. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just, you know, explosive diarrhea is just, it's just it's not talked about enough. It's not talked about enough. Everyone has it. And if you don't, you're not eating you're not eating right. Or you are in F you. You're better than me. Anyway, moving on. How about this? Uh, you know, excuse me. There's sugar in the salt cellar. Anything else? I've put it all over the place. All over the place? What were you doing with it? All over the place. Oh, Polly, would you ask Terry not to finish it? We need another one of these. There is sugar on it. What a sweet place. What? I'll have it replaced. Well, why is there sugar in this salt cellar? What do you think we pay you for? My staying power. For lambs. Yes, yes, I'm getting them, I'm getting them. Excuse me. Yes? I'm sorry, but do you think we could cancel our fruit salads? Well, it's a little tricky. Chef's just opened the tin. I'm sure it'll be very nice. Thank you. There we are. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes, I do like really beautiful places. Busy this evening, isn't it? <laughs> I tell you one of my favourites. I said it's busy this evening. I'm talking to Mr. Libson, Basil. Good, well, that's a help. I'm sure you can cope. Oh, yes, I can cope. Coping's easy, not pureeing your loved ones. That's the difficult part. Did you know Biddyford Bridge has all different sides? Yes, there's someone at reception, dear. Shall I get it? Yes. It's my turn, is it? Fine. Yes. Oh, yes, so it is. Yes, funny, it's been my turn for 15 years. Still, when I'm dead, it'll be your turn, dear. You'll be it. Excuse me, there are two lambs here. I'll have them removed if they're bothering you. <laughs> yes. Good evening. Are those ours? Not yet. Good evening. I reserved a room by telephone this morning. Mr. and Mrs. Hamilton. Indeed, yes, I remember it well. Excellent. Hamilton, yes. That's right. Well, may I welcome you to Forty Towers? <laughs> I, uh, I trust your stay will be an enjoyable and a gracious one. Could we have those now? <laughs> oh, by all means. Finish with them, have you? Absolutely. <laughs> bon appétit. I recommend the self-service here. It's excellent. We all thank you. What? Your lambs will be getting cold, Mr. Johnston. Cola? If you'd like them warmed up. I get it. You could get your wife to sit on them. I'm so sorry with the rubbish we get in here. Now, um, if you'd be so very kind as to fill that form out, Mr. and Mrs. Hamilton. Ah, yes. Now, we put you in room 12, which has a charming panoramic view overlooking the lawn. What a driver. 
Everything on the wrong side of the road, the weather. What do you get for living in a climate like this? Green Sam's is terrible. Sorry about this. Took five hours from London. Couldn't find the freeway. Had to take a little back street called the M5. Well, I'm sorry if it wasn't wide enough for you. A lot of the English cars have steering wheels. You wouldn't think there was room for them inside. See what I mean? <clears throat> what? May I introduce my husband? Rubbish we get in here. Look at that. More rubbish, dear. What? More of that bloody rubbish. Are you man well going, Basil? Yes, just eating with Mr. and Mrs. Hamilton, dear. Good evening. Good evening. Manuel! Manuel will bring your bags to your rooms. I hope you enjoy your stay and... Thank you. Do we need to reserve a table for dinner? Dinner? Yes. Problem? Well, it is after nine. So? Well, we do actually stop serving at nine. Nine. Well, look, if you could go straight in. Yes, I'm sure five hours to get here. We'd like to freshen up, maybe have a drink first. You're... Yes, uh, you oh, do that Oh, God. Often? Do what? Well, uh... You mean have our drink before dinner, after dinner, freshen up and go to bed? Well, if you could, it would make things easier for us. Shall we go to bed now? Would that make it easier for you? <laughs> We're a little tired, fellow. We want to sit up and relax. We'll be down in a few minutes. Yes, well, uh, but the shift does actually stop at nine. Nine. Hmm. So why does your chef stop at nine, huh? You got something terminal? But that's when he, in fact, stops. Now, oh. look. We drove from London to stay here, right? Are you telling me that you can't stay open a few minutes longer so that we can eat properly? What, we can do your sandwiches? Ham? Cheese? We want something hard. Toasty sandwiches? It's your okay. <laughs> Not really. Can you believe this? What the hell's wrong with this country? You can't get a drink after three, you can't eat after nine. Is the war still on? No, 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 but it's the staff, you see. Oh, the staff. We have to get the staff. How, how much of this Mickey Mouse money do you want to keep the chef on for half an hour? One, two, three, twenty pounds, huh? Is that enough? I'll see what I can do. Thank you. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Excuse me, please. This way. I gotta say, man, I think the Americans being just a little unreasonable here. It I wasn't was, their I chef's know. fault, or their hotel's fault that he couldn't get there before yeah. 9 o'clock. I just know that I died because Mickey Mouse money is what I've called other foreign countries' money before. So <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <clears throat> America. Here's your Monopoly money. Fucking take it. I don't even know what it's worth. That's why I can't take you anywhere. <laughs> no, you can't, man. But I mean, if you're like, so if you're traveling, you, you got to abide by the rules and laws of said country and, and, and establishment at least you're staying in. So, yeah. dude's at fault. Yeah, I, I guess uh, they didn't have Google back then. And <laughs> I mean, duh, they didn't have Google yeah, back yeah, then. No. They didn't. At least I'd have some sort of brochure would let them know when yep. they close and maybe if there's a McDonald's on the way. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't think so. I, I think these guys are so far removed from McDonald's. But <laughs> all right. Yep. <laughs> Let's yep. do it. This way, please. Gosh, that does look absolutely marvelous. Oh, uh, Terry, I almost forgot. Some uh, guests have just arrived right at the last moment, as usual. Typical. I'm sorry, but this puts us out just as much as it puts you out. Don't put me out, Mr. Forby. Uh, no, but they want some dinner, you see, and they insist first on scraping off some of the filth that somehow got Kate to them cruising down the M5. Well, I've got my class tonight, Mr. Forby. But I'm Terry, ready, just Terry. right out, Paul. No, no, where is he? I mean, I will make it up to you. Out of my own pocket? It's not the money, Mr. Forty. My karate means a lot to me. Well, half an hour's overtime in a taxi. Mr. Forty, if I miss a week, next week I don't get out in one piece. An hour's overtime? Sorry, Mr. Forty. What, what, what am I going to see you on? Two hours. What? <laughs> Two hours overtime. I thought you said it wasn't the money. It ain't. But I can't think what you're going to say to your guests. Look, Terry, I'd pay you two hours overtime if I could afford it. Sorry, Mr. Forty. An hour and a half. Cash? Cash. All right, hour and a half. But I go at half past nine, then I still get some of me class, right? Well, and I do the washing up. Well, you know how it is, Mr. Fulton. Yes, I know how it is. I pay you for an hour and a half. You clear off after half an hour. That's how it is. That's socialism. Oh, no. That's the free market. Come on, Terry. Mustn't keep the lady waiting. It's from Finland, Mr. Fulton. And very pretty. Tall, block. This Finnish floozy is your karate teacher, is she? Well, it's a sort of karate, isn't it? Right, give me that. What? <laughs> I'd pay you overtime to miss a class, not to keep some bit of crumpet hanging around. Yeah, but you No, it's all right. I'm doing the washing up. I'll do the cooking, too. You go off and enjoy yourself. Don't you worry about me. You go and have a good time. I'll be all right. Go and have a bit of fun with a fin. Come on, Manuel. I'm going to make a prediction. He's going to mess it up. Why wouldn't he? Because he, he hired someone else to do the cooking. He could barely run the damn thing himself, <sighs> let alone cook. I get it. That's why it's flayed otters. Yep. Very, very good. Oh my god. What are you? Polly! What are hey. Oh man. Never love strangers. Do I feel cats sit over there? 
Thank you. Good evening. evening. Is your room to your liking? Yes, it's very nice. Very nice, thank you. Oh, good. I'll just get you tonight's menu. Oh, uh, would you care for a drink before your meal? A scotch and water and a screwdriver, please. What? Uh, and for you, madam? Screwdrivers for me. I see. Would you like it now or after a meal? Oh, well, now, please. There's nothing I can put right? What? Absolutely. So it's one scotch and a screwdriver. I think I'll join you. Make that two screwdrivers, would you? You'd like a screwdriver as well. You got it. So it's one scotch, and you each need a screwdriver. No, no, no. Forget the scotch, two screwdrivers. I understand, and you'll leave the drinks. What? <coughs> nothing to drink? What do you mean, nothing to drink? Well, you can't drink a screwdriver, can you? <laughs> what else would you suggest that we do with them? Vodka and orange juice. Oh, certainly, madam. Make that, too, and forget about the screwdrivers. <laughs> you sure? You can manage without them. As you wish. Oh, my God. I'm oh telling you, man, the God. screwdriver is the most bullshit drink of all time. Like, it's Wish.com version of a uh, mimosa. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Give me a mimosa any day over a screwdriver. Yeah. I want to like, get my money's worth at 11 a.m. on a Sunday. Yeah. yeah. Out mimosas, in a patio. Hey, hey, man, mimosas will creep on you. Oh, well, they and will. Once, and once they got you, your yeah, Sunday you better, is done. You better not have something planned at 4 o'clock because you ain't doing it. Nope. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> All right. Relax in the carefree atmosphere of holding this charm when you are there. Hope we're not intruding on your dinner hour. Oh, not at all, no. You're American. That's right. <laughs> Where are you from? California. Oh, how lovely. You're English, though. Yes, but I've been over there years now. Ten years. Do you ever get homesick? Oh, yes, but I love it there. The climate's so wonderful. You can swim and sunbathe and then after lunch drive up into the mountains and ski. How wonderful. I like England and the English people, but I sure couldn't take this climate. Harry finds it too gloomy. Oh, I don't find it too gloomy, the usable. Yes, I do, Basil. Oh, yes, my wife finds it too gloomy. I find it rather bracing. What do you find bracing, Basil? The damp, the drizzle, the fog? Well, it's not always like this, dear. It changes. My husband's like the climate. He changes. This morning he went on for two hours about the bloody weather. <laughs> Isn't that most British people, though? I know most yeah. of our audience is British, so <laughs> if that is what you do, you've got to leave a comment. That's just how it like, is. I feel like the weather is there. It's just so they can talk about it. It provides yeah. a release. Fucking weather, yeah, fucking weather. And then you get on with your day. Yep. You know. That sounds about right. Whereas mm -hmm. here in Maryland, it just depends on the day. We just, it's seasons either, don't really mean anything. Yeah, it's either snowing, sunny, raining, or dragons. You don't like it one day? Just wait a couple more. It'll come yeah. around. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It has been unusually damp this week, in fact, but uh, normally we're rather spoiled down here on the English Riviera. Mr. and Mrs. Hamilton were telling me about California. You can swim in the morning and then in the afternoon you can drive up into the mountains and ski. Must be rather tiring. Well, one has a choice. Yes, well, I don't think it would suit me. I rather like it down here. It's very mild all the year round. We have uh, palm trees here in Tokyo, you know. Do you have uh, palm trees in California? Bert Lancaster had one, they say, but I don't believe him. <laughs> what the hell is that? Vodka and orange juice. Orange juice. I'm afraid it's not fresh. Isn't it? No. We've just opened the bottle. Look, fresh means it comes out of an orange, not out of a bottle. Ah, you'd like freshly squeezed orange juice. As opposed to freshly unstrewed orange juice, yes. Leave it to me. I'll get Chef onto it straight away. Sorry about that. A lot of English people are used to the flavour of no, the bottle. No, it's all right. It's just that back home, fresh orange juice comes like running water. Does it really? Of course, it's so good for your skin, isn't it? I'd love to go to California someday. Looks so exciting. Oh, never love a stranger. Do you like it? Oh, I love all Harold Robbins. I've read this one three times. The Pirates is his best, I think. I read them when Harry's away. I just don't seem to have the time when he's home. Who needs Harold Robbins when you've got the real thing? <laughs> How long have you been married, Mrs. Forty? Oh, since 1485. There we are. Fresh orange juice. Thank you. But seriously, though, his men are all so interesting. Ruthless and sexy and powerful. Who's this then, dear? Proust, E.M. Forster? Harold Robbins. Oh, yes, of course, yes. My wife likes Harold Robbins. After a hard day slaving under the hairdryer, she needs one wine with a few aimless thrills. <laughs> Have you ever read any? Oh, really is the most awful American, well, not American, transatlantic tripe, sort of pornographic Muzak. Still, keeps my wife off the streets. We both like him. <laughs> Harold Robbins. 
I thought you meant that awful man. What's his name? Uh, Harold Robinson. Have you, have you read any Harold Robinson? Oh, painful. Oh. How about Waldorf salad? Was that one? Yes, you're absolutely right. Oh, that was a sh Could you make me a Waldorf salad? Waldorf salad. <laughs> Well, I think we're just out of Waldorf. I don't believe it. It's not very well known here, Harry. Yes, uh, may I recommend tonight... Now, look, I'm sure your chef knows how to fix me a Waldorf salad, huh? Well, I wouldn't be too sure. Well, he's a chef, isn't he? Yes, you wouldn't prefer... Well, find out, will you? Just go out there and see if he knows how to fix me a Waldorf salad. Uh, of course, yes. He's not absolutely positive. He's almost... <laughs> it's, 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 it's lettuce and tomato, walnuts... No, 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 it's celery, apples, walnuts, grapes. In a mayonnaise sauce. Right. Um, incidentally, he did ask me to say that he does uh, specially recommend the the, uh, the patty tonight. I don't want patty. Or the, the grape grapefruit. The grapefruit. Mm -hmm. How's it done? Well, it's halved with a, a cherry in the <laughs> center. Look, I haven't paid you 20 pounds to have some guy cut a grapefruit and half a stick of cherry in the center. Exactly. I want a Waldorf salad. Absolutely. One Waldorf salad. And a green salad for me. And one green salad, yes. And if we can't manage the Waldorf salad... The... I want a Waldorf salad. And to follow a couple of filet mignons. Six. Done rare. Done rare. Not out of a bottle. Not out of a bottle. Right. <laughs> Would you care to... That does sound like a good meal. Rare filet like... mignon and Waldorf salad. But, I mean, it would be the Californian. The Californian. It would, it, it would be the Californian, man. See... Those are West Coast Americans. Well, we're East Coast Americans. Yes, the far we have, superior we, ones. We we we're the right coast. Exactly. Well, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, we are the technically the right coast. The mm. wrong one. So, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> like, the I would have been coast. like, <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. They're the left coast. But I'm just saying, it's just who does that? Who does that? You've already told. Like, I don't know. Once I realize, awesome. good. Sorry. Once I realize the cook is about to leave for the night, I'm not putting anything else in his wheelhouse, or else he will f it up. He uh -huh. is done. The last thing you want is food from a cook that is done. That's yeah. not good. So yeah, because it, it it'll likely contain uh, human saliva. You know Whoa. what I mean. See the wine list. Thank you. Uh, may I ask, did you say you'd pay 20 pounds? Oh, no. that it's, uh, it's not the money. My wife and I, we wanted dinner and... This uh, can't be right. There's no reason Chef couldn't stay. I'm awfully sorry. He's forgotten already. Uh, walnuts, cheese... Uh, no, no cheese. It's celery, apples, walnuts, grapes. Right. In mayonnaise. Right. Now, come on. Would you excuse me one moment? Uh, excuse me. A bottle of volnay, please. Of course. Thank you. What's this about? 20 pounds, Beth. There's no celery. Would you believe it? I'll find the celery. What about this 20 pounds? He, he gave me 20 pounds to keep the kitchens open and chef wouldn't something. Where does he put things? If you just look. I have looked. There's no, no celery. There's no grapes. Walnuts. That's a laugh. He's going to find a packet of sliced hippopotamus and suitcase sauce in the wall. Now we've got apples. Oh, terrific. We'll celebrate. We'll have an apple party. Everybody brings his own apple and stuffs it on somebody's throat. <laughs> I will find everything. Just go and get a bottle of gold. What is a Waldorf anyway? A walnut that's gone off? Waldorf Hotel in New York. Wait. Basil, everything all right? Yes, thank you. Never been better. Oh, good. Um, by the way, I wonder, have you by any chance ever tried a Ritz salad? Ritz salad? Yes, it's a traditional old English thing. It's apples, grapefruit and potatoes in a mayonnaise sauce. No, I don't think I ever tried that. Ah. Don't think I ever will either. Well, that's <laughs> probably pretty sound. Well, look, um, about this Waldorf salad of yours. Yes. Um, you're having a bit of a tater tate with Chef, and the point is, we're all right on the apples. Absolutely no problem with them at all. Now, on the celery front, well, uh, perhaps I should explain. We normally get our celery delivered on a Wednesday, along with our cabbages, onions, uh, <laughs> walnuts, grapes, that sort of thing. But this week, um, the driver... That's a fault, he... Yes, he was putting the crate into the van. I'm not in... And he sort of slipped forward, and the van door caught his arm like that, and he may have fractured it. You don't have it. They did the uh, x-rays, and we'll know tomorrow whether they're going to have to operate, and to cut along story short we don't have any no but um makes you think how lucky you are doesn't it i mean here we all are with all our limbs functioning and quite frankly if you've got your health what else matters what a bunch of crap Who's like? what the hell's going on here it says hotel outside now is this a hotel or isn't it well within reason you know something fella if this was back in the states i wouldn't board my dog here fussy is he poodle oh, i'm not getting through to you am i no i stay in hotels all over the world and this is the first time I've had to bribe a chef to cook me a meal and then find out he doesn't even have the basic goddamn ingredients. Holy cow, can't you see what a crummy dump this is? Now listen to this, are you kidding? I'm talking to you! Shut up, will you? Listen to me. 
Can't you see this ain't good enough? Yes, I see what you mean. And then you give me some half-assed story about some delivery guy busting his arm. Now, look, Foley, if your chef couldn't find the ingredients from that guy, why didn't he get them from somebody else, huh? Exactly. Yeah, it's hopeless. What? It's hopeless. Completely hopeless. Right. You're the manager, aren't you? You're responsible. So what are you going to do about it, huh? Have a word. <laughs> Man, you got to tell him, lay it on the line. Lay it on the line. Tell him if he doesn't get on the ball, you're going to bust his ass. Bust his ass? No, 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 no. I've got it. Bust his ass. All that. Green salads. <clears throat> I didn't realize that bust his ass was not a, a term over there. That's an eternal. What would be the British equivalent? Destroy your bum. No, Definitely no, not. No, no. Not that, man. Definitely <laughs> not that at all. No. Uh, Let us know in the comments. What is the British equivalent of bust your ass? It means I'm going to beat you up yeah. really badly because I'm angry at you. Yeah, I don't know. I, I have no idea. But, it, but definitely he was like, what? You want me to tell him? All right, cool. Oh, yeah. man. Here we are. One green salad and one Mordor salad. I, I thought yes. that... Oh, uh, would you excuse me one moment? You hear me? That's a bunch of ass. That's what that is. It's fine. Why can't you make a wall of tomorrow? You get the ingredients for a wall of salad, or I'm going to break your... Oh, no, 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 no. Everything all right? Yes, thank you. You're sure there's nothing? No, uh, no, it's very good. Oh, good. Oh, um, you're a chef. Yes. Uh, has he been with you long? About six months. He used to work at Dorchester. At the Dorchester? No, in Dorchester, about 40 miles. Here we are, two green salads. Basil. Mr. Mr. Hamilton has his Wardorf salad, dear. Yeah, chef couldn't make it. He didn't have the ingredients. I just uh, smashed his backside about it. But there it is. What? There's the Wardorf salad. Chef found the ingredients. The ingredients? Why didn't he tell me? It doesn't matter. Well, it matters to me. Not to me. I got my Wardorf salad. Yes, excuse me. For God's sake! <laughs> Chef, would you please that back immediately? I'm so sorry. I'll just get it back for you. Sorry, I'll give you sorry. Get off your knees. That's why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me you found them, you stupid cow? Sorry about that little confusion. <laughs> Chef hasn't been with us very long, and we've just reorganised the kitchen. Oh, you haven't got your wine yet, Basil. Won't be a moment, Basil. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Hamilton haven't got their wine yet, and Basil. Has Chef put the steaks on yet? No, I'll, I'll Is your husband all right? Oh, <laughs> yes, he's just had rather a long day. There's just the two of you here, right? We haven't had a proper holiday for eight years. Eight years? Yes. I have to get away occasionally just for a few hours, even if it's just down to the hairdresser or a round of golf or a bridge evening with some of the girls. Drive in the country sometimes, just on my own. Pop down to Cornwall for the day. Sometimes it's beautiful there. Yes, you must visit Cornwall while you're here. Uh, incidentally, I've been uh, talking to Chef, and we've sorted out what happened. Um, apparently, he thought that he'd uh, already got. Uh, That's right. no, thank, thank you. you. Got got two orders for Waldorf salad. You see, and uh, in fact, he had the ingredients. But uh, eh, no, that's uh, until he made one, he didn't realise that he, he didn't have uh, uh, enough for for the second one. You Look, don't let it bother you. No, anyway, this will explain everything. What's that? Uh, a letter. Letter. A letter from the chef. Oh. It explained everything. He wanted to apologise oh. personally, but I didn't want him wasting your time. So I thought. Look, uh, just forget about it, will you? Well, I'll, I'll read it for you. Right. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Hamilton, I hope you are well. Oh my God, dude! Just get out of there. I love it. I love that he just can't read people and yeah, i can't. think it's because his character just thinks too fast he's just yeah his mouth goes faster than his mind does if, if he just slowed down he would solve 98 percent of his problems yeah he he probably needs to smoke a joint or <clears> five <throat> at the same time yeah. unfortunately it's illegal over there so yep. can't really help you this is just a brief note to say that I take full responsibility for the dreadful mess-ups tonight. If I'd only listened to Mr. Faulty, none of this fiasco would have occurred. Oh, I, I'd just like to tell you that such a cock-up has never occurred in my career before, and that now everything has been sorted out, I'll be back to my very best form, signed to... What are you doing? What are you doing, you bandit? Just about enough of this. So, as someone that is walking in on this, if I was... In the place of the American, I would be terrified. Uh, I would just walk away because this dude is about to kill someone. Yeah, yeah, especially with the smoke. That alone, the fact that 
I, I'm pretty sure he's overcooked the steaks already. If he asked for it rare, he's already overcooked the steaks. Oh, yeah. But added the factor of he's a psychopath. He's yelling at himself and hitting the Yelling at himself. That's where, like, yeah. ooh, ooh, let me just uh, back up. Has bigger demons. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Whatever thing. Mr. Hamilton, may I introduce Terry Hugh? Where's he gone? Did you see him? Maybe he went to get something to eat. Come on, honey. What is it, Harry? Well, even. Well, what's happened? I'll tell you later. Mrs. Hamilton, if he's, he must have heard you coming in and panicked and run out into the yard. For all, all the problems we've... How big a banner ball do you take me for? But... Do you think I don't know what's been going on out there? Oh, bit of a day bark, I'm afraid. I'm talking about you taking 20 pounds off me to keep the chef on, letting him go, cooking the meal yourself, and then pretending he's still out there. Oh, that... Yes, that. And I'd be interested to know what you've got to say about it. Good evening. I asked you a question. Yes, well, I, I'm sorry the, that your meal has not been fully satisfactory this evening. <laughs> what I'm suggesting is that this place is the, the crummiest, shoddiest, worst-run hotel in the whole of Western Europe. No! No, I won't have that. There's a place in Eastbourne. <laughs> British tourist boards answer to Donald Duck. Now, look, I, I, I know things ha have gone wrong this evening, but you must remember that we have had thousands of satisfied customers. All right. Let's ask them, eh? What? Let's ask them. Are you all satisfied? Are you satisfied? Major, are you satisfied? I mean, you've been here seven years. Are you satisfied? Oh, yeah, I love it. Major. Oh, yes. Thank, thank you, thank you Mr. Forty. Yes. yes. And thank you for asking. Not at all. Mr. Arrow, are you satisfied? Uh, well, yes. I, uh, Mrs. Gerd, you? Oh, very nice. Say uh, yes. You see? Satisfied customers. Of course, if this little hotel is not to your taste, then you are free to say so. That is your privilege. And I shall, of course, refund your money. I know how important it is to you Americans. But you must remember, <laughs> there are things that we value more. Things that perhaps in America you've rather forgotten about, but which to we British are far, far more important. I'm not satisfied. Many, uh, the, what? I'm not satisfied. No, we're not satisfied. Well, people like you never are, are what? you? What? There's nothing I can do with people a pair like you, short of putting straw in the rooms. I think you're the rudest man I've ever met. I haven't started yet. <laughs> you're going to stand here nice and quiet while these people say whether or not they're satisfied and you move off that spot, Faldy, and I'm going to bust your ass. Everything's bottomed, isn't it? Yes, sir. I think this is probably the worst hotel we've ever stayed in. Yes, it is. The service here is an absolute disgrace. I agree. You do? Yes. Do you know that we had to wait nearly half an hour for our main course, and when it arrived, it was wrong? And uh, when I complained, he completely fobbed me off with some rubbish around... My prawns were off, and when I told him, there was an argument. And her meat was all... Here we all go. I asked you to fix my radiator three times, and nothing's been done. Satisfied customers, huh? Ha, ha, ha. Hot dog. <laughs> this is typical. Absolutely typical. Here we go. Look. Us! <laughs> I had to put up with from you people. You punts in here expecting to be hand weighted on hand and foot while I'm trying to run a hotel here. Have you any idea of how much there is to do? Do you ever think of that? Of course not. You're too busy sticking your noses into every corner, poking about for things to complain about, aren't you? Well, let me tell you something. This is exactly how Nazi Germany started, <laughs> with nothing better to do than to cause trouble. Well, I've had 15 years of pandering to the likes of you, and I've had enough. I've had it. Come on, pack your bags and get out. They're packed. Order ten taxis, will you? I'll pay for them. Come on! What? what? Out! Everybody out! <laughs> Come on upstairs, pack your bags, and yours out! What are you dreaming? Well, you should have thought of that before, shouldn't you? Too late now! Come on out! If hotels were honest. <laughs> dude, I'm so in his corner right now. Usually I'm like, what are you doing, dude? Finally, he's like venting. I want to know yeah. what his wife is about to do. Oh yeah, ah. yeah. I just I just had to stop right here because this is glorious. This is every retail job I've ever worked. I wanted to say what he has said. Right. I'm like, yes, finally. Yes. Granted, you're probably gonna end up going out of business. But oh yeah, oh yeah. You said what you had to say. Yeah, yeah. You'll have oh. to end up selling drugs or something, but yeah. you know what? You got it off your chest. And I think that that's, That's probably saved thing. him 10 years of life right there. Oh. So, so at least he talked about it. Exactly. God. It's healthy to talk about yeah. it. Yeah. Well, let me explain, my little workhorse. <laughs> the guests and I have been having a bit of an old chin wag, and the upshot of it all is they're off. Oh. Well, let me put it this way. Either they go or I go. 
Come on back. I'm going instead. Well, goodbye, dear. It's been an interesting 15 years, but all good things must come to an end. I hope you enjoy your new work here, helping to run a hotel. Goodbye, Major. Goodbye, goodbye ladies. Goodbye. Give my regards to Polly and Manuel. Bye, dear. You've forgotten your keys, Basil. <laughs> so I have, dear. Yes. Oh, and goodbye to the rest of you. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Don't forget any complaints. Don't hesitate to tell my wife. Any hour of the day or night, just shout. Bye. Here we go. Ten minutes. That'll be fine. Oh, no. What do you want, Basil? A room, please. Uh, number 12 is free, I think. Now, I'd like breakfast in bed at half past ten in the morning, please. That's eggs, bacon, sausage and tomato with a Waldorf salad. I'll wash down <laughs> with lashings of hot screwdriver. Like wow. Way to come back with your tail between your legs. All because it was raining. But it was a, it, it's, it's, a, it's a boss move. Kick everyone out. And guess what? The rooms are free. Hey, 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 no there one's, you go, there you no go. one's staying in them, and technically, yeah, yeah. she is running the hotel. Yeah, so technically, actually... genius move. Yeah, I I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. <laughs> that's but, a, yeah. the Uno. That's the Uno reverse card, just played out yeah. in front of us. Exactly. <laughs> this one automatic two thumbs up for oh, this yeah. one for sure. Yeah. This is needed. Uh, yeah, yeah. What are we at? Uh, three. We got three more after this. It's going to be short and sweet, y'all. Wash Definitely. your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck. Unplug and do something crazy. See you in the next one. Later. Fellas, we could be that mistake. Let's do this.